Hi ladies, good afternoon. It's Sunday and I want to go live um, because Shemas have been, has been doing most of the lives lately and I feel like I should step in there and join her. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you about is most people have hair goals and those hair goals stay the same year in, year out and they are basically never being met. met. So why is that? Mm, probably because you're focusing on the wrong things and this is something that hair companies you know they the hair care companies they kind of like keep you focused on the wrong things they keep you focused on moisturizing your hair um you know they keep telling you about this new leave-in conditioner hair milk such and such and you're doing all of these things a new co-wash conditioners you're doing so much uh, of the right stuff and think, okay, I'm doing all of these things, but why is my hair still, or my hair goal still not met? Why is my hair still um, not growing? Or why is my hair still so thin? And stuff like that. Um, what I want to talk to you is like kind of like the myth of moisturizing. Like, yes, moisturizing is important for your hair, but it will not actually transform or change your hair. It will just, you know, take care of it and condition it for it to be in, you know, in the same shape it is, for it to keep in the same um, shape as it already is. Um, I don't know if you have seen it, but if not, I will post it in the comments, like what my hair was like. It did not used to be like this. It was short, um, and especially when I was dealing with it, it was like thin and like a super small, curly, um, not fro, because it was falling down, it was flat on my head, and, and I didn't like it. I didn't love it, let me see. Um, and my hair goals were always, you know, to have longer and thicker hair. Um, and they were not being met while I was doing all of this, all of the right things. I was um, putting in a leave-in conditioner daily. I was doing henna treatments. I was doing um, honey, avocado, oil treatments, everything. I was doing so much for my hair to look good, but it wouldn't really work. Not like it wouldn't really give me the type of hair that I wanted. So until I found out that my focus, these hair companies keep us so focused on the wrong things. We keep thinking moisturizing, we keep thinking wash days, we keep thinking all of these other standard things they tell us about, but they don't tell you the actual issues. You know, why is your hair thin? Why um, is your hair not growing? You know, most of it, most of the, um, most of the actual cause for your hair not growing is not because you know what happens in your hair roots or something. It's mostly because it's um, breaking off at the ends. Um, that's one of the first secrets I found out. Secrets <laughs> I found out is the biggest problem is hair friction on the ends of your hair. It keeps breaking off. Even though it's growing gradually, it just keeps breaking off. That's why you see so many uh, curly uh, girls with always like hair until right up till their shoulders because that's where the friction of your clothes are, of your jacket are, and stuff like that. So that's a very important one. Your ends especially are the driest part, so they are the part uh, where your hair breaks off um, easily so you keep breaking it off at the at the ends and that's that's one of the biggest problems so how can you stop that a lot of people are saying protective hairstyles wear your hair up stuff like that yes that is a way but for you to like constantly sort of like put your hair up in a bun that kind of makes it you know that keeps it from breathing as well. So that's not always a good thing. Your hair needs sun, your hair needs to breathe and stuff like that. So I, what I suggest or what we suggest um, at Double Beauty is to not focus on those uh, wrong things, but start focusing on the condition of your hair and changing the condition of your hair.
not moisturizing and kind of let's say pacifying your hair with leave-ins but actually um, changing the condition of your hair and how do you do that that you have for, for, for you to understand you have to understand like what your hair is made of your hair is made of keratin which is a protein if you don't have enough protein in your hair your hair is more prone to breakage so if you fill your hair with um, if you put some protein on your hair you're actually equipping it to kind of um, resist the friction to be able to even though there's friction to still grow that's a very very important step um, so you need to use protein treatments that doesn't mean like put hair mayonnaise on your hair and that's it you know because you have to make sure that the product you're putting in your hair can actually enter the hair shaft because your hair has like all these little shafts like uh, a fish basically has and if um, your hair shafts are open that means that um, the products you're using the moisturizing products or the protein products they are maybe entering your hair but as soon as they enter they also fly right back out so that doesn't help um, you need a product that can actually enter your hair and then also a product that keeps it sealed and locked in okay so um, it needs to be a protein rich treatment it needs to be able to penetrate the hair shaft so it can actually help the condition of your hair okay that's important and then um, I think the next step is it needs to seal your hair shaft so that the moisturize the moisturization and um, the nourishment you just put on your hair can actually stay in there that's an important thing okay and then another very important thing is you know they always keep telling you oh keep using products do that do this so we're using most girly girls are using way 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 too much stuff on their hair um, like I know girls where a wash day contains of 10 or more products and this way you kind of oversaturate your hair with stuff why it cannot well so that it cannot breathe it cannot um, it, it won't fall that and let nice it will look like super flat on your head because your hair is too heavy and you're doing too much to it so that will not be good so you need to probably minimize your hair care routine and use the right products and focus on actually changing the condition of your hair. Well, we have been talking um, a lot about um, Manoy oil, our miracle treatment, which is basically our um, daily um, hair, hair go, hair um, crush, basically this is like what you can use daily to moisturize and, and um, protect your hair, which is very important. But I think like equally as important, will be a pre-poo treatment. That's what I kind of want to talk to you about today. A pre-poo treatment is a treatment you put on your hair before you wash your hair. This is a perfect moment for you to nourish your hair to the max, basically. First of all, because you're going to wash it out so your hair will not be suffocated. So you're going to wash it out. And second of all is um, because your wash routine is usually a lot of friction on your hair. You're probably um, detangling your hair while washing it and stuff like that, which um, is a lot of stress on your hair on your hair uh, strands. So that's why uh, pre-poo treatment is kind of helping you to get through that wash day um, and to just kind of power your hair up first before you do all of that to it. So we have a pre-poo treatment product which consists of five um, pre-poo packs, sachets like this. And this one sachet is enough for one uh, treatment. Okay. Um, so what you do is you just, before you start washing your hair, you just put it in your hair. It is rich in protein, it's rich in omega-3, and omega-3 stimulates um, 
hair growth and it actually builds hair body and it's a, a fatty acid that your body itself is not able to produce so that's a very um, good point uh, omega-3 is very important in your uh, hair care products um, especially um, in a pre poo treatment so you put this on your hair before you wash it you put maybe like a plastic hair cap on it or you and, and you sleep with it or you leave it in for at least 30 minutes and what you'll notice is after that your hair is so much softer and easier to manage um, so while you're detangling it it's much easier to um, to detangle so you put less friction on your hair you have it's less prone to breaking off so that's I think one of the biggest things you can do for your hair is use a protein rich pre poo treatment to kind of get through that um, that wash day and wash routine and then after you um, use the pre poo you kind of leave it in for 30 minutes to a whole night and then after that you just wash and condition your hair but because you already conditioned it before your wash day, you do not need to use these heavy masks on your hair. Um, so you can just use a light conditioner to kind of, you know, moisturize it because all you have to do then is moisturize it. And after you wash and condition, you put a leave in if you want and a miracle treatment oil, and that will help you seal in all the moisture. Uh, of your uh, wash routine um, so yeah that's like you know stop focusing on the wrong thing stop focusing on the leave-in conditioners and curl creams although they are important that's not what's going to let's say that's not what's going to change the condition of your hair it's just going to kind of pacify it to go through um, you know to the next wash day or something but it's not really going to change um, your hair. You really need to work on those things like, you know, protein, um, making sure it can penetrate the hair shaft, um, making sure it stays sealed in your hair, and start using a protein treatment to make sure your hair is uh, a pre poo treatment to make sure your hair is equipped to kind of resist all of the friction and all of the extra stuff on wash thing. Okay, so quick link check because you know I don't like how people are always focused on on length because the most important thing is the condition of your hair and that it looks good right but I know a lot of our customers are always asking like how did you get your hair to grow that long so let me just kind of do a length check okay so that's it. I don't know if you can see it. That's it. That's where my hair is at right now. But I like to focus more on volume, to be honest, <laughs> instead of length volume and just for it to be shiny and healthy. That's what I like. And that's what, you know, these treatments we create are working on. All right, girls, I hope this was helpful. Stop focusing on the wrong things and you know start focusing on the condition of your hair have a good sunday